what's going on everyone it's tay with spectacular gadgets and in this video i want to do a quick little video of what's on my phone so i'm not going to do every single app that i have but kind of noteworthy apps or apps that i find myself using every day first thing you're going to notice is that i do have a live lock screen and I had a few of these. Um, this one I kind of like because of all the colors, the waves are gone and the sky changes color here and there. So I found this one to be really cool. I like the font here and I will put this down in the description. So this particular lock screen theme came from the galaxy store so i'm not sure how easy or if it's even possible to put on other android phones this was a paid uh, theme for like two dollars and fifty cents i believe let's go ahead and jump into a few things because i don't want to keep you here all day the first thing that i want to talk about is i always like to keep the weather uh so i know the temperature i just always like to keep that with the time and i just want to be able to glance quickly like oh it's 64. 64 and it's in february all right a lot of people probably don't like this but i always like to keep the google search uh bar on my device so for quick access to be able to look something up really quick but now that we have uh gemini i have mapped gemini to the power button so all i need to do is i can hold and press a power button for it to come up and ask it or have it do whatever i need it to do so I'll press and hold what's the weather today it lets me know what the weather is so that is mapped to my power button and that's one of the things that I actually use a lot too it's just more convenient now let me be honest with you guys uh, the Gemini the actual uh, assistant is better in my opinion because it's faster. So I'm hoping that this gets better because you see how long it took just to tell me the weather. The next notable app that's sticking right in front of my face is my Gobi Home app. I like to have this app right here for quick easy access because I have a few Gobi lights that I like to use or like to turn on. As you know also, you can have uh, the assistant turn on or off your lights or have the percentage of the lights go up or down you can also use the assistant i can press this button i don't want to trigger your devices i'll press this button and hold it turn on zen lights and it turns on my lights so that is a really nice feature, but if you didn't want to use the assistant, I can just go in and go straight to my app and I have for the bedroom lights and I have it for my Zen room. So I always like to have this right up front. Now the next set of apps which i'm not going to do all of them is my channel apps i like to have access to uh like all things youtube and anything that has to do with my channel so of course you have the youtube studio which gives me uh, information about my videos about my channel comments analytics and all that so that is like one of the first things in my folder obviously i have youtube i have TubeBuddy, buddy i have the thumbnail maker that i used to use but i have since then moved on and then i have some other things that i use uh for specifically my channel for tools uh, i like to use adobe adobe express to make thumbnails and everything so i really like this app and then again you see tools my Gobi home app is on there of course notes my calculator is a must and let's see what else is notable here you have your pentastic Go ahead and check that video out if you haven't. This app allows you to customize certain things with your S Pen. It just makes things a little more fun. In my entertainment folder is kind of where all my social media and stuff like that is. Um, so notable apps in here that I tend to use a lot 
would be obviously like Instagram, Amazon Music, of course, Amazon Shopping, uh, X, my Nintendo Switch app, Netflix, definitely, um, my Steam app, of course, and I like to actually use the Samsung Music app when I'm using my Galaxy devices. I like to have the Google apps kind of on the front screen as well because it's just easy access like especially Google Drive when you're doing collaborations or whatever you're using your Google Drive for, definitely. And then um, the home app I use a lot because it has all my cameras and lights and everything. I just wanna be able to have it on the front screen, but I just don't want all my apps on my screen like an iPhone. So that's why I kind of have them tucked away in the folders like you see here. Uh, another notable thing obviously is my cameras. I like to have on the front screen. I like to use Chrome when I'm trying to get um, like desktop sites. I use this quite often for my thermostat. I like to have this just being able to easily get to it when I need it. And then you have your camera and your photos. So that's what I have on the front screen. Now the reason that I have all of those folders is because I really don't wanna have to go and look through all of this. Um, I do have a lot of apps. And so for me, the ones that you see like on the front screen within these folders is the reason that um, I have them here because it's just easier to get to. Another notable app that I would like to talk about is Androp. Uh, Androp is cool because this allows me to take any videos, any photos or anything like that and pretty much airdrop it to one of my Apple devices. So like my uh, Apple Studio, I can go ahead and as long as my Apple computer has the Androp app as well, it's almost, I promise you, like airdrop. So that's the best uh, transferring file app that I have found between Android and, and uh, Apple devices. I would definitely say give them a try. Um, I have not had any hiccups. I have not had it fail. Um, this works perfectly. Another app that I find very convenient and helpful is the GeekSmart app. This app allows me to unlock the office door. Anytime I'm not in here, this office stays locked. Um, I can use my thumbprint if I want to, or I can simply just unlock it with the press of a button. Oh, yeah. So as you see, I can go ahead and manage. I can add people to it. I can check the logs and see um, what type of entries have been made. So you can check my logs of how it's been unlocked, what days, the time. So this is a very helpful app in my opinion. Now currently on the device, I have the Poetic uh, Neon case. This one is the MagSafe Pro. No, this one is the, just the MagSafe one. Out of all the cases from Poetic, I knew from the start that this one was going to be the one that I was going to rock, but not because I have the orange titanium um, S24 Ultra, but because I like the way it feels, it still kind of keeps it thin, and then it's this darn kickstand for me. It's like the best kickstand. It doesn't go anywhere. It, you know, gives you some push back when you're trying to close it so it doesn't just slam close and you can see like I can move this but it's not going to go anywhere and it's just the perfect kickstand in my opinion plus the fact that it has MagSafe and the magnet is pretty strong so that's pretty much what I have on my device well that about wraps it up for this video I want to thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey and until next time everyone I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.